Hi, I'm John. This is my show, A Sports Reckoning. So what I've constantly been saying is that these YouTube influencers that are in the sports car community are frauds. They're all fake. They're all for sale. They only tell people what the people want to hear. They're frauds. They're fake as fuck. So uh, before I get into this video and show you like what the clip little part here, I just want to mention that... Uh, Neo had pointed out uh, Neo's cards and comics this morning on his video. He had pointed out that the uh, the Crown Royal that on a case hit when people are loading a box that has the case hit into it, okay? He he said he understood that that number could be identified on that box, right? Because they need to take that and make sure it's inserted into a case that the case hit has been inserted. That's why you got the code on the individual box. But the question of what we're asking about backyard breaks is we're talking about sealed cases that they're being delivered loaded sealed cases. Again, how do you how is that being done because the discovery that an individual box that the code has been cracked on the crown royal to discover that a kaboom is lo loaded into that box that has no relation to identifying it in a sealed case there is no connection there and so that's what these guys have to do they keep acting and so these guys last night they had their show and they had the nerve to sit there and say, we, we, where are all these people that are challenging us? Who's calling us out? I fucking sat there on this video last night. Everybody that was here that watched this video knows I was in the fucking comments section posting comments for fucking two hours straight. These fucking losers never mentioned my name. They never showed my content. They never brought up any conversation that I'm an, I'm an, I'm an objective voice in the community to everybody. I'm not one-sided like these people. See how they gang together? Okay, we're the negative commu community. We're the oppositional voice community. And see how they're now they're gathering together? I'm not like that. I'm the only true independent voice in this community. I am here for fucking truth, justice, and the American way. <laughs> right? And these people don't like me for it. Because they're just the same as these other fucking losers on the other side. The other losers, they get their fucking, they got their team. They got their program, they got their message of what they want to put out, and they all group together. And then there's an oppositional voice, and that's what you get with these fuckers. And look at instantly what's happening. They're grouping together, right? And they will not talk about me, right? They don't, they think that my fucking, my point of, my opinion, and my fucking perspective on these things is irrelevant. Because they do not care about individuals. They don't care about the actual card community. And I'm going to show you here, I'm going to prove it to you, is that they can be bought and sold like a cheap fucking hooker. Because that's what these fucking sports car radio motherfuckers are. And I don't have to fucking speculate about this anymore because they just proved that they're for sale. They're a $1,000 an hour hooker for sale. They'll fucking bend over and suck your cock. They'll take it up the ass. They will do whatever the fuck you want them to do because they're hookers and they're charging $1,000 an hour. You know, we get that all the time. And I, I always joke, I always joke to those people if I ever get into a serious conversation with those people, I'll like send them a, a link to like a Jeff Wilson video where he did the other day. It was like a Mojo sports betting app. And I'll, I'll text them. I'll be like, what do you think? How much do you think Jeff Wilson got to post this video? And I asked this to somebody the other day and I sent up a link and he said, he said, I really don't know. He said, I would guess a thousand dollars. And I said, there we go. I said, you want me to do a positive video? Thousand dollars. And you can pick the topic. It could be any yeah. topic you want. So I think people right there. He just confirmed. Is sports card radio for sale to promote any issue of which you want them to promote regardless of their actual personal feelings on that topic? Are they for sale to fucking be propaganda? They just admitted for a thousand fucking dollars an hour. Yeah, we'll say whatever the fuck you want, whatever your topic you want us to talk about. We'll talk about it. We will bend down and suck fucking cock for one thousand dollars an hour. 
I told you these fuckers are frauds. They're fakes. They're fucking bundling together. They're, they're now the negative community. They're joining together. That's what these fucking losers do. They don't care about the fucking truth. None of these motherfuckers had the balls to fucking deal with any fucking conversation I put forward. They are fucking losers. They're fucking 